Hello and a welcome. My name is Ajax Post and this is the Transport Fever 1 Hub Let's Play Speed Build Series. Yes it is. And uh, we, we kind of finished on a, a high note for buses. Why are you stopped there? Why are you stopped there? Um, I don't understand. Oh, why, why'd you... Oh. Yeah, I think some of the... Pa I hadn't noticed this before, strangely enough. In all the hours and hours, I think I've... Uh, uh, I think I've accrued so far over 770, 780 hours in this game, one way or another. And I hadn't noticed that if you have a lot of buses coming into this bus state, this type of bus station, they will get in each other's way. Um, even though, yet yeah, they're all set on different terminals, as you can see. When they go out, they all seem to want to go. Certainly, this terminal wants to go out that way. What if I actually change? So that one. Um, goes to Terminal 1 instead. I'm a bit late for that bus there. Right. Because if they come in this way, so if they're picking up passengers from this way, then they shouldn't, hopefully, get stuck behind the buses here. The question is, of course, is will they come in through the centre or will they go round the outside? I don't know. We'll just sit here for a moment and, and watch because it's fascinating to watch people moving around bus stations and buses pe picking them up and stuff. Um, and yeah, as I was about to say before I noticed that little uh, anomaly, where are you going? You're going down the centre. No, oh, don't do that. No, it's not going to make, make much odds then, is it? Um, I think what I might do then, because the, the sort of... What colour is that? That sort of light mauvey... I'm not quite sure what colour that is at all. The, that and the light green bus are local buses. They're, they're, this is, <laughs> you didn't, maybe you did know where we were. Uh, they're the Rabbit Valley uh, links from the twin towns of Rabbit and Mystery Valley. So they're the local buses. Uh, the other sort of white and purple one uh, is the, is the mega bus that goes out to the other town up the, up the Mesa. Uh, Wetherill Mesa, I believe it's, if it is. So if we change these, in fact, then. So that uh, Mystery Valley, uh, if we send you off to um, terminals, that's where I want to be. So if we send Mystery Valley off to Terminal 4, um, put the Rabbit Valley Wetherill me Mega Bus to Terminal 2, and the Rabbit Link can go to Terminal 1. Okay, uh, <laughs> this poor old crowd of people is just wandering back and forth across this uh, across this bus station, not knowing where on earth they're supposed to be going. So, okay. The, the, one of the reasons I'm doing that is because the mega bus is hugely profitable in bus terms, at least, whereas the other two local services are less so. Um, for some reason, the, the Mystery Valley bus, they're, they're all running very full, uh, but I think the problem is, is the congestion in the city uh, is causing delays or something, or maybe there's just not enough buses, I don't know. Uh, sorry, but the other reason I, I stopped here <laughs> was these buses that I put on here, um, they're not American, I'm afraid. I have conceded defeat, in a sense, in one or two other little places, and put European models uh, into into use. Uh, and this is a, a man, MAN bus, from Europe. Prim primarily Germany, I think. Uh, isn't it? Yep, the MAN SL. Uh, it's, it's a nice fit, and it carries a lot of passengers quite fast. Slightly faster than the Chevrolet, which was on that route before, but not quite as fast as the bus on the Megabus route. Which is what? No, are you one of those? No, <laughs> I'm not going to find one now, am I? No, where where do you come in? There you are. Yeah, these buses. Oh, we've run over a year. Oh, hold on. I'm going to have to pause this for a second. Oh, lots. Of, ah, excellent. Lots of new lo new locomotives and wagons coming in. Right, we will get to that in a moment. I really must stop talking soon. Um, this game is, this series isn't about me talking. It's about uh, building 
stuff. Um, yeah, these buses, it's, I can't remember what the, it's, um, the, the D40, uh, the, that is a specifically uh, US vehicle, I believe. Um, oh, it's auto saving, that's why it's uh, paused, stopped. There you go. Um, yeah, I believe these are specifically American. Uh, so they're fine. Um, they they go. They don't carry quite as many passengers as the man, but they go that little bit faster, um, which I why I think they're better suited to the uh, the intercity routes. Anyway, um, let's crack on with what we're supposed to be doing today. As you can see, I've put up a number of routes here at the top, which I will be addressing at the beginning of the uh, speed build section of this video. Uh, they're basically just replacing uh, old trains or less efficient trains um, with hopefully newer and more cost-effective units. Uh, the, the worst offender of this, I think, worst offender of these is, I believe, the, the freight uh, from the into, into Rabbit itself from here. It's not a terribly long route. Um, and it used to be quite profitable until I added, added in all sorts of other routes, <laughs> picking up stuff. Uh, so I think it's getting not a terribly great share of the goods being held there at the hub for it. Um, yeah, as you can see, it was quite profitable for a couple of years, and then it's just been losing money hand over fist. Um, uh, I don't think it needs two trains on there, to be honest, uh, and those trains, they're getting on a bit, which doesn't help, but they're sort of, um, what's the term for that? It's not double header, is it? Is it double header? I'm not sure. I would call that top and tail, but I know nothing about trains. <laughs> Um, so, yeah, these are, I think, quite expensive. So if what I'm going to try and do is find a slightly cheaper consist uh, for that, which hopefully will bring it back into profit. Don't close it. Um, bring, bring that back into profit. But the other thing I wanted to do um, in response to some of the comments on the previous video. Hi, Mr. Phosphorek. Thank you very much for commenting on, on that episode. And also, of course, um, it was Mr. Phosphorek who initially sort of presented this idea well he, he suggested something which led to the idea which I'm running it with here which is trying to create a big city of 10,000 or more um, citizens I'm not sure that's going to be possible um, because I've only got about 4,000 here at the moment in our main city of Old Jetto Monument Valley um, but I, th I then ran with his idea uh, and I assume it's a he being called mister of course um, and try to run all services into this hub station, hub city, which is why it's called the One Hub um, series. Though there are slightly, there are other mini hubs scattered around the map, uh, because, well, because it makes it more efficient that way. Um, and he also, in addition to suggesting the idea for this series, gave us the name of a particular train. Um, if you've got any ideas for names of either routes or trains or whatever, then just drop a note into the comments box below uh, and uh, I will be more than happy to oblige anything that isn't too offensive, <laughs> basically. Um, so, yeah, please, please do. If you've got any ideas, then I'm more than happy to include you in, in the sort of game, as it were. Yes, he named uh, a vehicle, uh, a fast train uh, on the, in the map called the Phosphorus Express. Um, and it was the first electric line, if I remember correctly, uh, out here on the map. Uh, it's getting a little bit behind now, though, in technology. But it is, as you can see, um, still fabulously profitable. Um, and I think we've got some new, funky, fast electric locos uh, coming on board online now, rather. Uh, so I think that one will be due for an upgrade as well. So I'll actually, I'll leave you there as well in my list of things to do. <laughs> Um, so yeah, that's what we're doing. We're replacing stuff and uh, I'll be adding in a couple more routes, I expect. Um, and I'm not going to tell you what they're going to be either. So you'll have to wait and see. Um, so yes, oh, but before I go though, uh, one other thing he just wondered about uh, in, in that comment on the previous video was the size of our towns. So I've been keeping that a bit quiet till sort of we get to the end of the video really, the end of the series. But as you can see here, uh, we do have lots of big towns. Uh, Old Jetto has gone, just dipped again. It does that, it goes up and down a bit as they sort of um, demolish and rebuild sections of the city. Uh, so that's running at uh, nearly 4,000 in population. And the total for the map is quite an impressive 
Ooh, we're over 40,000 now, so I reckon that's approaching uh, certainly 41, could be 42? It's approaching 42,000, I think, population across the map, uh, which accounts for some of the stuttering and the sort of frame rate, frame rate loss that you may... Uh, that you may see as we certainly as we follow vehicles through cities and so on but anyway that's it i'm going to stop talking very soon uh, and hand over to the speed build section and the sort of uh, soundtrack to that uh, so i will just say here and now thank you very much for joining me today hope you enjoy the rest of the video if you do it'd be great if you would click on the like button that always helps just makes me know that there are people watching it and also helps sort of make, make the, the channel and the videos um, a little closer to the top of the search results which isn't a big deal but it's always nice to sort of um, to be there somewhere <laughs> to be found uh, also but even better though if you've got any ideas thoughts suggestions recommendations even criticisms drop a note into the comments section below uh, that would be amazing and of course if you've not done so already why not subscribe to the channel and that way you'll know when I upload another one of these. Why is that little bit of road there? <laughs> that way you'll know when I upload another one of these or any of my other Let's Play series. But from me, Ajax Post, enjoy the rest of the video and I will see you again soon. But until then, bye bye for now.